everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming this cut crease look and how to do a cut crease and this look and like steps on how to do a cut crease like I already said because I don't know what else to say. Um, yeah, I used the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette during this whole video, no other palette or eyeshadow palette or anything is used, just this one. Oh, I just got my lipstick on it, oh, sorry. It's basically just a video focused on the eyes and how I did the eyes and step by step how you can get to what I got. So yeah, if you'd like to figure out how to do a cut crease and like to see the how I did all this to my face then just keep watching um, it's pretty easy with a few easy steps everything that I do I try to make it easy for you guys so yeah thank you for clicking this video and please keep watching okay so I'm just gonna go ahead and get started so First off, I really hope that you guys can see what I'm doing because I am filming this at night so I have no natural lighting coming through my window that's in front of my makeup desk, but I have like three lamps, my makeup mirror ring light, and my ceiling light on and I also have my TV on so that that can shine on me too. I'm trying my best for lighting that I can right now so sorry if it's not all that great but I wanted to get as many videos pre-filmed as I can do because I find that I've been lacking in posting frequently so I'm trying to post more now. So I've already done my eyebrows off camera using the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil and I've already primed my lids using the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and then I set that down with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and then I also primed my face using the NYX Pore Filler as well. So now I'm going to use tape and put it along the sides of my eyes just to make sure that my eyeshadow doesn't get too messy and out of place. So now that I've got the tape there, um, I only put it on the outer corners because I plan on doing a winged liner as well. So for this entire look I'm going to be using the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. I love this eyeshadow palette. It has all the shades that I want to use and yeah, so I'm going to use this palette today and I'm first going to go in with the shades white peach and peaches and cream and using this palette reminds me I'm so excited for them to release their freaking peaches and cream collection they're coming out with a foundation a primer a setting spray um two cream products a cream bronzer and a cream highlighter and then they're coming out with some face powder, an eyeshadow palette, and I think I'm missing something. I'm pretty sure there's something else that I'm missing. Anyway, they're coming out with a lot of stuff. And I literally wish I could afford to buy the entire collection because I'm telling you right now I definitely would. But I'm only going to be able to afford a few things, so I'm probably going to end up getting the eyeshadow palette and the foundation or maybe like the yeah probably the foundation um maybe one of the highlighters but yeah so whatever i end up buying from that collection let me know if you guys would like to see a review on it or like a tutorial with it because i would definitely do that the whole collection comes out on august 31st um and it's exclusively at Sephora, so anyone in the States, you can't get it at Ulta, just Sephora. Um, that doesn't matter to me anyway, but I'm just saying. Um, yeah. So, I'm really excited for that. It's the 31st of August that that comes out. That's online and in stores. And then it also, it comes out September 1st on TwoFaced.com. Okay, so now that I have put uh, the those two shades into my crease just for like a little transition color, I'm going to be going in with the shades 
Georgia and Candied Peach, and I'm mixing those together. I really like mixing shadows. I don't know why, but I just do. And now I'm going to start forming my cut crease shape. So I'm going to bring it a little bit above the crease that I have and start winging it out. And literally just flick. Like, flick. Blend it into your crease and just flick out. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing and hopefully I'm in focus. I am so, so, so sorry that this lighting is so, so, so bad. Like, really. Like, how is this so dark? Anyway. Focus. I find the, the darker of lighting that I have, the harder it is for my camera to focus on anything. So... Good luck camera, you're going to have a hard time with this one. I actually have a story behind this video that I'm doing. So pretty much what happened was I already filmed this video. Um, and I filmed it on a different camera and the SD cards that were in that camera weren't compatible with my computer. The files were all different or something. So then I, my mom, she's really good computers I got her to, to get a different file converter or whatever she read up she was trying to get it to work anyway moral of the story it didn't work and it wouldn't work and I couldn't get the footage to edit it on the computer so it's just stuck on those SD cards and I can't do anything about that so yeah now I just have to refilm the video on this camera that I've used for every other video and I didn't film this video for a while because I just was like angry about the fact that it didn't work the first time but I'm doing it now okay so now I don't even know if I showed you but I took the shades um, candied peach and Georgia and I that's what I put all over the crease and now I'm going to be going in with these two shades down the bottom puree and summer yum and I'm going to define the crease even more and make sure I keep flicking it out the trick to doing a cut crease is just really figuring out where your crease is and then once you've figured out where your crease is um, just always making sure that you flick it out Especially if you're doing a full leg cut crease, I just think it looks really pretty. And the trick is also to make the shades gradiate. Like I have my peachy peachy color up here and I'm keeping this brown one just a little bit lower. Just so that I can still see everything and that everything looks blended. And now I could just have one color all over my lid. Okay, so now that I have um, that shade down as well. I'm going to be going in with the shade Charmed, I'm sure, which is right here in the very corner. I'm so sorry about this lighting, honestly. I feel so bad about it. <laughs> Taking this e.l.f. brush that's more dense, like a pencil brush, and just uh, pretty much lining up where I'm going to put my crease. You know? gonna go in with the first brush I was using and blend that a bit more. Over here seems to have the best lighting for you guys so now see how it's just very defined. That's what you want to do with this last shade. Basically it gives you an outline of where you're going to cut your crease. Okay so now that I've got my crease really defined I'm gonna go ahead and cut my crease. I'm just going to be using this Feel Techniques accent brush, Real Techniques accent brush, and I'm just going to use that to cut my crease. I'm just going to use one of the most full coverage light colored uh, concealers that I have. So I'm using the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Concealer. Basically you're just going to follow the line of your crease as well as you can. So. 
I start off in the inner corner and spread the product around a little bit. And I pretty much just shove the brush into my crease and move outwards. And that normally gets me at a pretty nice place. Like so. Now for the little flicky part. So I normally just take it all in motion. That's the easiest way for me to do it. It's all in one motion. And I drag from the out to the inner part. Okay, now that I've got it cut, I just go in with the dark shade that I used to sort of define my crease the most at the end and the little brush. And I kind of just define it even more. Go around the edges with this. Just go in one more time with the coat of concealer. It can be really hard to get a sharp line at the beginning. But it does come, I promise. Alright, I'm just going to go ahead and cut my other crease and I will be right back. Okay, so now I've gone and cut both of my creases. And now I'm going to be taking the shade uh, Delectable. Which is this nice purple shade right here. And I'm going to run that all over my lid part there. And I'm going to do that with this brush. Um, this is the Still, Still Spa Essentials eyeshadow brush in the number 005. It's just a nice packing brush. I'm going to clean it off a little bit, make sure there's nothing on it. And I'm going to take Delectable all over it. I really hope this shade is pigmented. I've never done this before. Taking like a dark shimmery color all over my lid but I'm going to right now and we're just going to go for it and I'm just going to put this all in the place that I cut out leaving a tiny bit of space in between because I'm going to make a bit of a empty space there Okay, so I've got that laid all over my lid and I left a little bit of a gap in between because I'm going to do a bit of an empty space. But I'm going to go back in with the concealer. But I'm going to go ahead and do this to the other eye first. It's actually, this uh, shade in the palette is actually pigmented with um, or without being wet wetted, by the way. It's honestly probably a little bit better when it's not wet. Now I've got that on both of my lids, and I'm just going to take this um, Real Techniques eyeliner brush, and I'm going to be taking more concealer, and I'm going to create the empty space with the concealer. And I'm just going to draw a line. Hopefully it works well. Okay, and before that goes anywhere... I'm going to take the same brush in the white peach shade and set it like for now. Man, I really wish that this had better lighting. That my camera's gonna cut off any second because it has a low battery, just letting you know. I'm just gonna go ahead and do the other eyes empty space and I will be back. So I have made the Queer space on both sides and yeah so now I'm going to take this off and I'm going to put on lashes and mascara and um, yeah and I'll be back after I do those things I'm also going to clean up this edge part Okay, so these are some very dramatic eyelashes for me, but I love them. They are the Huda Beauty Samantha Lashes in number 7. Really a new favorite, like for sure. 
Um, so now that I've got my lashes on, my eyes are pretty much... Okay, so I charged my camera for like a few minutes to get it up to like medium chargedness. Now I'm literally just going to speed through the rest of this video. So, yeah. I'm going to be... I'm actually going to try out this Milani Conceal and Perfect foundation. And I'm going to be blending that in with my uh, Beauty Blender. This is like a limited edition purple one. I remember trying this foundation out before. But, like, I don't remember what I thought of it or anything, so I'm just going to do that now. Um, yep, so I'm going to blend this in, and I will be right back, because trying to save the battery. <laughs> so I actually have the camera charging while I'm filming because it kept cutting me off and it was just not okay. But I've got the foundation blended all over my face. I really love the finish and I really really like the way that it looks on my skin. It looks really flawless and it covered up everything. But the only thing is it's not my shade. It's way too yellow. So um, maybe they will have a lighter shade but I'm pretty sure this is the lightest one. It is 01 Creamy Vanilla. And I'm pretty sure this was the lace shade that I even that I saw there. But you know. You never know. Maybe not. Anyway, now I'm gonna go in with concealer and I'm going to be using the NYX HD concealer again just because I had it on hand already. And I need to even out this friggin' foundation. So I'm going to be taking it and putting it under my eyeballs like so. I actually really do like this concealer. The only problem I have with it though is that it's really drying under the eyes. And if I do remember correctly, it does kind of crease as well. But it does cover everything. Highlights really nice. It looks really good on the skin. It just sort of dries me out a teeny bit. And I'm also just going to put some right along here to maybe sort of hide the fact that this foundation does not match me in my neck, like whatsoever. So I'm putting that there to try and help lighten it up a little bit, possibly. Hopefully. And I'm going to blend out my face first. You guys know. Powder. On deck. Blending the eyeballs out now. setting and baking. I'm just going to bake some other places on my files. See how good I can get this foundation to look because if this foundation looks bomb then for yeah I've got a new face foundation that I didn't know but that would be my favorite you know. You know, you know, you know, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Smile lines, though. Them freaking smile lines, though. I'm trying something that Rob Beauty Christy does. She bakes like right there. Rob Beauty Christy, by the way, I love you and all of your videos. You are hilarious. 
I love you. Enough said. She bakes before she does her bronzer because, like, I don't know why. I just watch her do this and it looks good and it works good on her. I think it's to sort of prevent the bronzer from getting, like, messy under here. So I'm gonna try out what she does. Cause like, why not? She's like gorgeous and like she does beautiful makeup, so. I'm for my bronzer because I'm feeling very devilish and nothing on my face matches me. Anywho, I'm going to use the MAC Gimme Slum bronzer because like, you know, I feel like I can pull it off with how yellow this foundation is and how orange this bronzer is. It's just gonna look amazing. So I'm gonna do that. Um, yep, I love this bronzer when I'm tanned. I'm not tanned, but like, you know, we're gonna use it anyway because nothing matches anyway. And the only thing that looks good is my eyes right now, so, yep. We're just gonna, um, I need to stop talking so that it's easier for me to edit later. Oh! Foundation, what are you doing? I just went to scratch my nose and it literally just like came right out of my face. What are you doing, foundation? I thought we were friends. I thought that I liked you. Don't play me now. Oh, what the heck. I'm gonna use my Lani Luminoso. I use this every time, but like it goes with everything. So that's why. I'm just going to use this because, like, it was there, and I love it anyway, so. And don't worry, I will brush away this powder. It's extra everywhere, but, like, when I'm done, I'm not done yet. This blush so much, literally, if I could only have one blush ever, it would be this one. Just want to tell you, in case you wanted to know. Okay, so now for... Fun. I'm gonna use the MAC Soft and Gentle Highlighter because like I haven't used this in forever and like it's not even really that good of a highlighter to me anymore because like I love being blinded and like this only blinds if you put like 10 layers of it on and it's kind of sparkly but I'm just gonna use this because I haven't used it in a long time. Oh maybe I'm wrong. Sorry I'm wrong. Don't mind me. What was I saying? I take all of that back. I guess I did not fully understand how lovely this product was before, because like, do y'all see what just happened on my cheek right then? Like, is this just me, or like, am I like outer space worthy? I think I'm outer space worthy. I guess, I don't know why I thought this was like not that great, because like, look at me. Wow. I was so wrong. I'm so sorry. Soft and gentle, I love you. Where have you been all my life? Like, I know that I've always had you, but, like, I always thought you were awful. And, like, not that blinding, but, like, you were mega blinding. So I'm very sorry that I had false feelings about you. Blinding them together. Okay, now, doing what I always do, taking some of these Wet n Wild Contour and the brush I use to set under my eyeballs and just double cleaning up because your girl don't want to look sloppy, okay? Okay, I want to look chill to filth. I don't know why, but I just haven't been into contouring much lately, like, I don't know what it is. I just really like, uh, instead of contouring, I've really been loving just, um, oh, I'm also dusting away the extra powder now. Instead of contouring, I've been loving just, like, bronzing the heck out of my skin. And that's what I've liked doing more. 
you know? That's what I've been experimenting with and like absolutely loving. So that's what I do. I'm just gonna finish up the eyes really quickly and I'm just going to take some of the shade Bless Her Heart and I'm literally just gonna put that all over my lower lash line because it's green and sparkly and any color is look. And now that I've done that, I'm just going to take um, the brush I was using to blend it between and I'm taking the peachy color and blending it up a little bit. Now that that's done, I'm going to be taking the shade Nectar on my pinky. Open that in the inner corner. So just going to take that, the, you know, the color um, Nectar. And I'm going to put that on my brow bone. I think I will take the shade Allison from the Unstoppable Beverly Hills liquid lipstick thing. And I'm going to put this all over my lips. Sometimes I get really silly in my videos. I think I don't even actually end up showing you guys what I'm using. And I know that I said it, but I don't think you really got to see. So, yeah. Sorry. I'm going to put the Urban Decay... Revolution High Color Lip Gloss in the shade Liar is what I'm using. So this is the finished look. This is how I did this cut crease and how to do a cut crease. They were really simple with a few easy steps. So I hope that this video helped you in your cut crease abilities and dreams of doing that so yeah um you don't have to put a dark color over your, all over your lip but that's what i chose to do today because i never do that and by the way i'm loving these lashes just so you know new favorite lashes um oh i forgot to put mascara on my bottom lashes but that's okay because i'm gonna take off this makeup in like two seconds anyway so i'm just gonna just not put it on there because it would be a waste and yeah so this is everything this is the finished look i hope that you guys enjoyed and i'm sorry about the lighting i mean like i'm working on it just so you know it won't always be this bad but i hope that you guys loved this video and yeah thank you for watching shut up um, thank you for watching. Please make sure to like this video, give it a th thumbs up, let me know if you think that I did a good job, and also comment down below with anything that I can improve on, or any, like, compliments, or any, like, suggestions, or questions, anything, leave it down below, and also make sure to subscribe. And it would really mean the world to me if you subscribe to my channel because I love it when people subscribe to my channel. It means so much to me. It makes me so happy. Anyway, um, yeah, please subscribe if you like me and would like to see more of me and more videos like this. And I promise my video skills are better than this lighting. I do normally film during the day, but it didn't happen this time because it's my time. So yeah, go check out some of my other videos to see what my lighting is normally like and what the quality of my videos is normally like. So thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye.